The new iPhone 6s has a new feature called 3D Touch. This allows you to use pressure on the screen as well as the usual taps we're used to, and this just gives you a faster way to navigate around iOS 9. There are three main things that you can do with this. The first is called a peek. This allows you to get a look at something like a link or an address quickly instead of having to open a separate app or navigate to the full message. If you do want to go into the full view though, you can tap a little harder and then this is what's called a pop. This pops open the information and takes you into the full view of that link or picture or whatever you're using 3D touch on. The last thing you could do is shortcuts on the home screen. So say you want to take a quick selfie, you could just use force on the camera icon and this will give you shortcuts to right where you want to go. Or if you're wanting to navigate home or somewhere, you can just use force on the maps icon and you will get the same. And this just gives you a much faster way of getting to a specific part of an app instead of having to navigate there yourself. Also when you activate 3D Touch, there's a new Taptic Engine built into the success and this gives you more feedback on what's happening while you press. Right now, 3D Touch only works for most of Apple's apps, but as developers update their apps, these features should be available there as well. So that is 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to visit MacRumors.com for more iPhone 6S and 6S Plus coverage. My name is Matt with MacRumors, and we will see you in the next video.